Autodesk Inventor is a powerful tool for designing and engineering 3D models. Today, we'll explore how to set up the drawing environment, generate standard drawing views from your 3D model, and use eye properties to add information to the title block. Once you've completed your model in Autodesk Inventor, it's very easy to create a drawing with all the views you might need. You can create your standard front, top, and side views. You can create um, section views, isometric views, detail views, whatever it happens to be. We're going to look at some of these features now. To create a new view or a new drawing, I'm simply going to come up here to the new tool button on the quick access toolbar and I'm going to choose which type of drawing file that I want. There are two types. There's the standard DWG drawing and then there's also this IDW drawing. The advantage of using the IDW is that the file size is a little bit smaller. The advantage of using the DWG is its native AutoCAD drawing file format and it can be opened up in AutoCAD if necessary. I'm going to pick the IDW and choose Create. Once I do, you'll see that it creates a drawing that is very large. In fact, it, this is a D size sheet because that's the default size that I have set for Inventor. To change the size of the sheet, I'm simply going to move my mouse over to the browser, over Sheet 1, right click my mouse and choose edit sheet. Once I do so you'll see that it has a sheet name default sheet 1 um, and I can change the size right here by simply dropping this box down and choosing the size of the sheet that I want. I'm going to choose a B size sheet 17 by 11 which is a little bit more appropriate for this type of drawing. Notice that I can also change the drawing from landscape to portrait and I could even change the location of the title block. So I'm going to leave it as landscape with my title block in the bottom right hand corner and choose OK. Notice that right away it changes the border, uh, it changes the drawing size, but now this title block is still very large, which is too large for this type of a drawing. So to select a drawing or a title block that's a little bit more appropriately sized, I'll come back over here to the browser, right click on ANSI large, choose delete, which gets rid of that title block. Then to insert one that's a little bit more appropriately sized, I'll go to the drawing resources, expand it, go to title blocks, expand it, and double click on ANSI A. So now it inserts ANSI A, which is a little bit smaller drawing, more appropriately sized for this drawing. Once I've got that in place, I can look at adding in uh, information into this title block, but you'll see that it actually pays to wait just a little bit longer before you try to add that information in. Since I already have a part file open, when I'm ready to create my views, all I have to do is go to the base view right here and click my mouse. And you'll see that it simulates putting in my base view. If this is not the base view that I want, I can simply choose the different views that I have from my view cube to say which view I want to be my base view. But this is indeed the base view that I want to have. Once I've chosen that, if I move my mouse, you'll see how it creates like a little dashed box that is going to show me where my um, projected views will be. So I can say I want a projected side view to go about there, I want a projected top view to go about there, and even if I wanted to add a projected isometric view I could simply just come up here to the right and above and click and it puts those in. Once I'm satisfied with the views that I'm creating I can choose OK and you'll see that it creates all of the views with all of the necessary hidden lines that are required. These views are um, related to each other. For example, it knows, uh, Inventor knows that the front view and the top view must line up. So if I want to reposition this view, if I click to drag and move this view around, it's going to automatically update these other views so they will stay lined up with that first view. Likewise, if I want to move my top view, um, I can move my top view, but it only allows me to move it up and down so that it will not you know, be broken in alignment with that front view. And same with my side view. I can move it side to side, but I can't move it up and down. As far as the spacing between the views goes, it's not critical. You can have it set to whatever you want, but I recommend um, 
uh, about one to two inches between, not so close together that they seem crowded, but not so far apart that they seem to be too disjointed. The isometric view is not aligned with any of those views and can be, can be placed wherever you want it to be. Now that we have the drawing com, uh, composed with my three views, I'm going to save it. And I'll just give it the name slide block and choose save. It's going to ask me where I want to save it and I'll just say yes that's all good and okay. Once I do that notice that it puts the drawing name slide block right down here in the drawing and it got that right here from this part file. Okay so it put the part file name in there. But the rest of this uh, title block may still need to be filled out. We're going to look at a few of the fields, not all of them, that you can use to complete this title block. To complete the title block, what you want to do is go to the File tab, click, and then come down to iProperties. iProperties is going to allow you to change the properties of this drawing. It'll take some of the information from these fields and put them into the title block. Most commonly, you're going to come in here and you're going to say, hey, what is the title of this drawing? And the title of the drawing may or may not be the same as this drawing number down here. So, for example, I'm just going to say slide block um, sample, just to give it a different name. Um, subject is not going to show up in any of these fields, but you'll see that the author here, instead of being some random number, I can change that to my name. The manager will be who it's going to be checked by. I'll just put in manager. And then company um, is going to go in this field right here. It's going to where you would put your company name, your school, your college, or whatever that happens to be. You'll see that there are several fields on lots of the different tabs as you go through. You can even create custom fields that you can add to title blocks later. Once you're done, choose OK, and it automatically populates the title block with the information that you want to have in there. In this video, we looked at how to create a new drawing, how to place views, and how to place information into the title block using iProperties. In the videos to come, I'll show you how to import dimensions, how to create section views, auxiliary views, detail views, and make more professional drawings using the great tools available to us in Autodesk Inventor.